Good afternoon, good day, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Right now, it is evening. In fact, it is nearly 10 o'clock at night, and we are still going strong. But today, something I want to talk about before I go is these cameras. Now is a big time to purchase cameras, and I want to make sure you make the right decision. There's a lot of decisions out there, and thankfully, you know me, or maybe you don't know me, but you found this video, and I've made all the wrong decisions, so you can make the right decision. Today I want to go over real quickly camera review. What is the best camera, bang for your buck, to buy right now? It depends, but I'm gonna go straight to one camera. We have a lot of cameras here from GoPro all the way up to A7S's and R's, and expensive, not so expensive. Of course, a lot better quality, not the best quality. But today I'm gonna to talk about this camera right here, the one that stands out. This is the Sony A5100. I wanna tell you why this camera is amazing and why this is an amazing purchase for you. If you wanna know about stops, dynamic range, and all other kinds of nerdy things, you should go find another channel because what I'm gonna talk about today is the usability in this guy right here, or girl, because it's, I don't know. It's either or. Number one, price point. This camera right now is going for $448. In comparison to all these cameras, even a GoPro, that is a steal for what you are getting. This camera comes with a lens. This is a removable lens. This is a 16 to 50 millimeter lens. It's an E-mount, which means it's a crop sensor. So basically, in layman's terms, you need more light than other cameras like these full frame cameras. But this thing's ability to be able to perform in low light is still mind boggling for the cost. The 16 mil to 50 mil crop sensor times 1.5, what's that, 36 mil by 75 millimeter? Do the math, see if I'm wrong or right. Either way, this is a great, great deal out of the box. So here are the perks in this camera. This camera has the ability to film 60 frames a second at 1080p. It doesn't film 4K, who cares, but it has an incredible autofocus, which for a guy like me typically I don't like autofocus, but with this kind of camera, autofocus is key. This isn't the kind of camera where you're gonna wanna rack focus with. This is the kind of camera that you want it to automatically do focus. Compared with the A7S Mark II, I would say this camera's autofocus is a billion times better. With glasses on, this camera has a hard time recognizing my face. However, this camera is able to recognize that face so much faster than a camera a lot more expensive. Something else this camera has that not a lot of other cameras have, a flip screen. Wow, that's mind boggling. Should all cameras have flip screens? Yes, they should. I don't know why these ones don't yet. On this kind of camera with a removable lens, they barely have flip screens and I don't know why, but they're amazing. Why are they amazing? For all those people that wanna stare at themselves and talk into the camera, people like me. Right now, for example, I'm filming this on an A7S Mark II. I can't see myself. I hope it's in focus. But with this, you know when it's in focus. You can see yourself, you can see your framing. It's amazing. And it's amazing to have when you are filming by yourself. Something else that this camera offers that none of these other cameras offer. I don't know what's happening. I just took a picture. But there's no memory card in this, so it won't be remembered. One of the most amazing things that I think is about this camera is that if you touch the screen on your face, it will focus on your face. So it has touch screen. That right there is a godsend. Let's say you're outside and you can't really tell if it's in focus or not because it's so bright outside because the sun is more powerful than anything that man can create. You push it on your face and then you know it's gonna stay focused on your face. Mr. Sony A7S, how come you can't do that, huh? Because you're too expensive. This little camera is powerful. It can take raw photographs. For a lot of people buying this camera who don't know what that means, that means you can make a photograph look a lot better than it should. Pull out the highlights, boost up the shadows. Make it look like you knew what you were doing when you took the photograph. This camera can do that. The Sony A5100 comes with three different ways to zoom in and out of your subject. It has the front button if you want to um, be all prissy and lazy. It has a side button if you're not confident in twisting it, but you yet want to zoom in or out and want to look like a pro, but you're not a pro. And if you want to look like a pro and you are a pro and you want to do it quick, you can use it just like a regular lens. One of the other things that's fantastic about this camera is that it comes with the same battery that the A7S Mark II uses. One of the reasons that's fantastic for me is because I own three of these. So we have 20 plus batteries laying around. In this particular camera, the battery lasts a lot longer because traditionally this battery is known to be horrible. In reality, this battery is way too small for a camera like this. For a camera this size, it's kind of perfect. In comparison with the RX100, we all know the battery is horrible in those types of cameras and especially the RX100. 
Audio on this camera is to be expected. It doesn't have a boom mic, it doesn't have any shotgun mic. There are no audio inputs such as the A7S of course has one 3.5 millimeter jack. To be quite honest with you, I've been YouTubing, vlogging for quite some time now and it depends on the style that you vlog or the style of video you do. Shotgun mic, if you're always pointing the camera just at you, is fantastic. With a lot of the interactions we get into, there's a lot of back and forth where I'm pointing the camera at me, I'm pointing the camera at my employees. And for that kind of vlogging, quite frankly, I would prefer this kind of camera with this kind of microphone. With a shotgun mic, when you point it away, because traditionally a vlogger will put a shotgun mic on one of these, or a YouTuber will put a shotgun mic, the audio is very directional, and you're not getting the sound from behind, which is great typically, unless the person behind the camera is interacting with the person they're filming. It always sounds really muffled. What's up? <gasps> Yum, oh my gosh. Check it out, okay, I love coconut. Right, remember? Mm-hmm, I do remember, I can't stand it. So this one's mine. Yeah. But on a camera like this, it is actually fantastic. When we were at VidCon, my daughter and I, she actually met Rosanna Pancino, amazing human being. But when she was talking to her, the audio of Rosanna was so crystal clear, and then you could hear my daughter in her cute little excited voice talking to her so crystal clear because this acted as a microphone. When I say microphone, like an interview microphone. Hi, sweetie. Hi. How are you? Good. What's your name? Victoria. Victoria. I've been watching your baking videos for years. Oh my gosh. You are adorable. <laughs> oh, come on. How old are you? Uh, I am eight years old. And you're almost taller than me. <laughs> Look at this. Look how close we are. Do you want to do a photo or anything? Sure. Okay, cool. I would say these microphones are a good thing to have or a better thing to have in most situations. Directional microphones, when you put them on top of a camera, they're very intentional. With this, you have a lot more flexibility. So again, can you vlog with this camera? Absolutely. Can you make cinematic things with this camera? You can. can you take amazing raw photos with this camera? What a horrible day to do this. Ugh. Even if you suck, yes, you can. But there's gotta be one thing. There's gotta be something that drives me crazy about this camera. I love most all things about this camera, but there's just one tiny downfall. This camera will shut off without you asking it to. It will shut off in the middle of filming for no reason. It's not because of overheating, I don't think. Sony's are infamous for shutting down for overheating, especially the RX100 series. They'll just shut off and they'll be like, hey, I'm too hot, I don't wanna work right now, so. I know you're doing something important, but you used 4K for more than like 30 seconds, so I'm just gonna stop working. These things just stop, but don't give you a reason half the time. They just stop, and then you turn it back on and it's fine again for another three, four, five minutes. It's random. But again, depending on what you're doing, a lot of times, for example, when my daughter, she uses this camera a lot, and when she's vlogging with this camera, this is her main vlogging camera, she'll sometimes set it up and do some cooking shows. It's not good for that. If you're gonna set it up and forget about it and let it record, get a different camera. But if this is something where you're turning on, you're very purposeful, purpose driven, and you know what you want to say, you turn it on, turn it off, which is a lot of what I do. I mean, well, maybe sometimes I ramble on, but most of the time I know what I'm about to say. And so at that point, that's when this is a great camera, but it's still frustrating because there's no answer, Sony. Sony, why can't you make a camera that can stay on and not shut off? Oh, all right, beautiful people. So that is all I have right now about this camera. If you guys thought this was a useful video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you didn't think it was useful, make sure you share it with 10 to 20 people. Comment below with the questions that you have additional about these cameras. Before you buy, ask me, please. Because I will tell you, depending on what purpose you have or what you're gonna use the camera for, I will tell you, you're wasting your money. Or get this, or get that, or you know what, that is the right camera. I've bought just about every single camera under the sun. You can ask my wife. Guys, I hope you have an amazing night. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you high five at least four people today. And I can't wait to see you next time.